Hi, my name is Miriam, and I'm going to talk to you about my project I worked on all the semester long. The project is to was to open a hair salon in Stillwater, Oklahoma. A hair salon specified for Afro-American or Black people. Why I decided to, to work on this project? Because I saw that in Stillwater there is no specific salon for Afro-American or Black people. So I think it's really, really a big opportunity to make money here in Stillwater and also to help people because most people here need, really, really need, most black people and Afro-American really need to, do the, to get their hair done and it's really a problem sometimes because there's no specific salon for that. The people I'm targeting are black people and Afro-American because I think Every woman, specific, specifically, every black woman need to get their hair done at least once a month. At least that's just for some people. Some people get their hair done like every two weeks. And if you have a people coming to your salon every month or every two weeks, that's really like a big opportunity. And also in Stillwater, I have like, I think around 2,000 people are black or Afro-American and we have also the opportunity of having the campus in Stillwater. Having Oklahoma State in Stillwater make, we have over 24,000 students, I guess, here in Stillwater, in, in Oklahoma State. And all these like hard customers, basically, for me, I don't say the in Stillwater, uh, in Oklahoma State, we have only black and, or Afro-American, but I mean, we have a lot of diversity in campus, so it really, really helps to make customers. And how to make money on this business? Make money on the hair business is now really difficult, I mean, because make money is, to charge a hairstyle, it really depends of what you're doing, and it depends also on the time it's gonna take you. So every hairstyle is different and charged differently. I charge for, for example, the one I'm doing right now, I will charge 200 for it and it's gonna take me around like seven to eight hours to do this hair. And 200 for eight hours is really needed. Um, the competitors that I have are mostly in Oklahoma City uh, Tulsa there is really you guys can check because there is really no hair salon specified for afro-american and black people only in still water so the need here is big but nobody if, <laughs> think about doing that in still water not yet and to conclude I mean it is a really, really big opportunity here in Stillwater to open an Afro-American hair salon because for my customers is having, I take an example of somebody who doesn't have a car and need to get their hair done. It's difficult. First of all, you have to pay for probably Uber because we have no taxi in, in Stillwater. You have to pay for Uber or find a way to go to Oklahoma City or Tulsa, get your hair done. And it takes you two hours driving. Compared to my competitors, like my customer is going to save time and save money. Really, really, like, because save two hours going to Oklahoma City to do your hair. I mean, two hours can be for me the time for do somebody's hair. So I think it's really needed. And people really need to get to have a hair salon here in Stillwater where they can trust the, the person who's doing their hair where they can be like confident about where they're going because nobody be stressed about doing your hair and think oh why she's going to do my hair when the salon is specified for something people can i think people can really trust it and i really think that is a really really big opportunity here in stillwater to open a hair salon and it's really needed thank you again my name is miriam and my project was to open a hair salon here in stillwater